Hello, my name is Victor Hernandez, and I'm a Solutions Architect at Mattermost. Today, I will provide you with a brief overview of Mattermost capabilities as they pertain to technical and operational team productivity. Specifically, I'm going to show you some workflows that we use here internally at Mattermost that make us more effective, collaborative, that make information highly visible, and also all of this within a safe and secure context. Let me show you how. In Mattermost, we hold conversations in our different channels. For example, in the Quark channel, I'm discussing new features, I'm discussing new uh, capabilities, we discuss bugs, issues, and so on. With the ability to pin posts, we can recall information easily and quickly so that anyone within the channel has uh, this information readily available. We're sharing files and attachments to drive these conversations and drive additional comments and discussions. So those can also be recalled quickly via the pin files. Sometimes it's better to have a voice conversation, whether that's with a single team member or perhaps as part of a larger group. With the calling capability in Mattermost, we can quickly spin up a voice call, have that voice conversation with additional chat, and also with the ability to present and screen share to be effective in that discussion. We have integrations to many systems, for example, Jira, GitLab, PagerDuty, ServiceNow. So with those integrations in place, we can also not only trigger events in other systems, but also get information back from those systems. It's a quick example here in the channel. I have this one post that which may be a good candidate for a Jira issue. With that integration in place, I can create a Jira issue directly from within Mattermost without having to switch context. I can add additional information to an existing Jira issue and thereby continuing the process of uh, making sure that that Jira issue makes it to our backlog. I can use the slash commands to quickly also affect other actions. For example, kicking up a GitLab pipeline directly from within Mattermost as well. And as I mentioned, I'm getting information back as well, information that is relevant and important. Give me uh, an example of this. In my Quark Jira channel, I'm getting information from my Jira project directly back into Mattermost. No need to move through that tool, which is great for its own purpose, but now I have information here that may be actionable, that may require my attention. Importantly, my bots, for example, my Jira bot gives me information that is pertinent to me specifically. If I have been mentioned in Jira, if I have been assigned something in Jira, I get this notification back in Mattermost. Same goes for GitLab. As you can see here with my GitLab plugin, uh, there's a number of messages that require my attention. I have merge requests awaiting my code review and also other additional issues and assignments. I can review this here before I have to change context. I mentioned uh, Jira and certainly we use that for some of our task management and backlog management. But with Mattermost boards already as part of the application, we can do a lot of this actual project management directly within this tool and not have to switch to a different system. As an example, this one user story has been added to the backlog. I have the quick notification back that it's already in our backlog, so I can quickly jump into the board for my channel. What you see here is the actual issue, the actual user story that was sent over my team member. I have information here to help start the process of uh, doing that review, doing that disposition of the user story with a full-fledged description of what is it that we intend to do. All of this within Matamo so that we don't have to switch to a different context. And with the data that we have captured in the system for our backlogs, for our product, for our projects, I can then create views such as what you see here to help us visualize the information, the data, and then make decisions. As an example, this is a release train view in which we're using the columns to help us plan and move specific features to their delivery time frame. We deliver once a month, so that's our monthly cadence. The feature status shows a similar view, but in this case, we're showing workflow for features that are already in development. It's important to us to categorize user stories and issues according to a theme or an epic. So with a tabular view of the data, 
we can associate and we can review the information that is part of a given epic or theme and know where our investments are in terms of delivering an epic for a customer or for a series of customers and understand what we're getting out of that as well as the value that we're providing to them. It's important for us to keep abreast of uh, work ownership. We have good team members that are doing excellent work and not only do I want to see what's on their plate at any given point, but also I want to make sure that my team members are not overloaded so I can keep track of some of these metrics here within a view and make sure that that load is, is doable. And with a view like the product roadmap, we can craft a public facing view of what we want to communicate to our customers and to the public as, as, a, uh, as a whole of what our intent is in delivering on strategy and value to them. These are some of the views that you can do in the system. We also keep track of our processes, and because processes many times are mission critical, such as incident resolution, feature life cycles, or release management, having them directly built into Mattermost helps us to stay abreast of the process execution and also collaborate, collaborate with other team members. Let me give you an example. Release 7.7 .7 is the next release for this application. Team members are already engaged in working through a playbook. A Mattermost playbook is a process checklist. It's built into the system and then it can be uh, executed in the context of a channel. I switch over to the channel for release version 7.7. .7. The process that you see here, or the view that you see here on the right, is the process definition itself, the checklist that we capture in a playbook. As you can see, we have dates, we have participants as part of this playbook, and we also have tasks. This is the checklist, this is that process definition, whether once again, it's an incident, it's a feature, or it's a release management process. It's captured here for us to follow the process, to have accountability, and certainly visibility into who's accomplishing what task. Importantly, we're having conversations. The channel itself shows what the team members are doing. They're posting some dates for that release. They're requesting updates on uh, possible still outstanding items. We play, we play uh, silly with each other, so certainly we are sharing information that is funny. Additional cards that have been added. And certainly also because of the integrations that are part of the system, we're not only pushing events out from a playbook, but also getting information back. For example, here I have information on a pipeline that is failing. With this information, the team can quickly, in this single place, coalesce, attack the problem, and find a resolution. One of our team members here has resolved the issue by creating a new pipeline definition. It's working. And now we have our status update that shows where we are in the process itself. It's a monthly cadence. This particular playbook will run for that, uh, for that duration, and we have the information in that single place here in Mattermost. It's important for us to understand how teams are doing in terms of the level of engagement and where the conversations and where the decisions and where the issues may lay as well. With Mattermost Insights, we have that information surfaced to understand quickly uh, the pulse of the company. The different panels that you see here that are expandable show us information at the top on the most active channels. Where are the most conversations taking place for a given time frame? What's trending? What's not? The top threads show the specific conversations where the team members are engaged. So the channels show me activity. The top threads show me the specific uh, conversation topics. Because we have many projects running at once, the top board shows me where the activity is taking place the most. And because team members and all of us are, are human, we react to posts. So knowing the top reactions, particularly when they're positive like this, gives us a good sense of uh, the happiness level of the teams. We make it public and highly visible when we have new team members join the organization and want team members to reach out to them. And this makes that information visible and highly accessible. And also, engagement sometimes may not be the best. Looking at least active channels, this is showing us where conversations are not taking place. This may be okay. It may be that this is a particular topic or particular uh, project that has been finished, and it, it, but it also may signal an, uh, a deeper issue. And this highlights that information, and in, in case we need to, we take action. And I mentioned that we use playbooks to 
drive our process execution and collaboration within Mattermost. So with that in mind, from a high level leadership perspective, I wanna see where my team members are spending the time and effort running which specific process. Going back to this particular slide, there's a number of topics that we touch on today. Mattermost is effective to help technical and operational teams centralize information, everything in a single place. Automate workflows because we use integrations, because we use boards and we use playbooks. We have a single place where workflows are automated. We're getting information in and pushing information out, all with a single source of truth. We are unifying those tools, people and processes by means of doing this within a single system. And lastly, we're improving continuously. We're being productive, we're being efficient, we're collaborating, making information visible, and all of this within the context of an application that is secure and that mitigates risk as well. This is how we do things here at Mattermost. I hope this information has been useful, has been valuable. Uh, it is only a handful of the things that Mattermost does. So please, if you have any questions, reach out to us or just reach out to us to understand and learn more about how Mattermost can benefit you and your organization. Thank you.